Blabber 3, the Rubik's Cube Quest. And think about that. There you are, you know. Let's say you're 47 and you're a retired public servant and you've got your bucket list. It's like, solve the Rubik's Cube. You get up in the morning and you look out at the weather. Well, it's planned, another bland day. Boring. Boring. And you've looked at your bucket list and you've done four of the five items you wrote down over your latter part of your career when you saw the movie. And it's like, uh, or I visited the zoo. <laughs> First time. <laughs> you got the Rubik's Cube and you looked at it and you go, yeah. It's a bland day. And, well, 1975 CD arrived in the mail. You put on the 1975 and you go, pop it. Sound of your heart. Pop, pop, pop. Look at the weather again, bland. You look at the cube and go, well, the bucket list bothers you. Honey. I'll have to solve it. The Nike 160, I should solve it. I should bother to solve it. These are enjoyable, bland days. I'm retired, I'm out of action. Bland days. Solving the Rubik's Cube. Rubik doing life wouldn't it be if that was with your life on your bucket list you've got the Rubik's Cube solving. The, the, the thing is, you know. You apply your mind to it and you still can only get aside. <laughs> well, I can't work it out. It's too hard. I don't understand. <laughs> Land days solved with Rubik's